In this video, we play an Italian meme truck with a lot of pizzazz. Just not as much as Mr. Giuseppe here. This is the Breda 1953. Hope you guys enjoy this intro. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Wait, is that an enemy there? It is, yeah. Oh, I tracked him. I think I can shoot him over the top of this, so... There we go. Oh, holy moly. It's a pack boomer. Oh, his little gun was turning around, his machine gun. Okay, he tried to machine gun me, but my radiator saved me. <laughs> there are the radiator that counts as space armor. Right, okay. Oh, a Stugless. If he reverses, I kill him. If he goes forwards, I kill him. It's okay. <laughs> uh, that, that, this was a game. Hi guys and welcome back to the Spooky Channel. Today we're playing the Breda 1953. This is one of the top rewards for the Battle Pass, Tropical Storm. Now many of you will already be very fond of the Breda 501. These have very similar characteristics except this thing is just vastly better and I'll cover why. But it's the exact same gun on a different chassis, a very weird chassis, which is the problem. This thing only has two degrees of gun depression, that doesn't include over the top of here, it's two degrees all the way around even facing over the back and the sides and then no depression at all over the top of the cab now that coupled with how tall this thing is is a bit of a problem but so long as you're on a flat map this thing is pretty good now those with a keen eye and are possibly watching on a desktop rather than a phone will notice this thing has uh, zero hull armor uh, and only seven millimeters turret armor that's because when we look in the armor profile here structural steel five millimeters yeah anything with a space bar is going to murder you now the good news with the no armor is we've got six crew members so we've got a little bit of survivability then but most people will shoot you center mass and there's a lot of ammo here i generally take full ammo with a vehicle like this so i can snipe to my heart's content but for those of you who like to play aggressively this is going to be a bit of a problem. Now let's talk about this thing's speed. On a road it is pretty fast, 53 kilometers an hour is pretty decent, but in mud, and especially going up hills, this thing just cannot do it. By a hell I mean like a slight defilade, yeah, the, the truck literally can't get up it. So for maps like Ash River etc, you're really restricted and where you can go, those good spots where this thing would work are just not accessible to you. And what makes this even worse is the reverse speed. 6 kilometers an hour, if you're lucky, most of the time you'll reach a maximum of 4. So basically, Britain Simulator without the armor. And of course, you've got APHG. Now you have two options with this thing. This guy here that has less pen, but 502 grams of TNT equivalent. It doesn't overpressure like the Tiger 1 shell does with only 200. I don't know why. And then you've got this shell here with a little less explosive mass, but a little bit more pen. This is the best one to use. Now, when I played this thing, it was on the day of release and it had a bug. And that bug was when you turned your turret at full depression, it would turn in notches and bump up kind of like this how my cursor is doing it was very infuriating you'll hear me complain about it a couple of times but know this it's no longer there the bug is gone but there's still an annoying thing that does exist and i think it's just a part of this vehicle uh the brakes are only in the front of the car so whenever you drive and you hit the brakes uh yeah you just drift everywhere which makes it really especially infuriating because with an ace crew this thing only has 7.7 .7 degrees turn rotation per second so if you spin it 90 degrees uh whatever you try to stop to shoot it's probably going to kill you by the time you get your gun on target despite that Big gun, 4.0, pretty fun tank. Let's get into battle. Oh my god, this thing looks ridiculous. No, my camel! Hey, what up, Sav? Oh god, we're the same beyond. What is exploding over here? Anyone this way? Nope. Nothing on B yet either. Oh, I hear someone to my right. Oh god, a Panzer IV. He didn't even see me. How bizarre. Yeah, give me one. Holy moly, that man is gone, dude. Well, we got a kill right off the bat. We like that. And now I'm chasing up Panzer IV around the corner. Where did he go? I think he's looking for me. Oh my god, this thing just started spinning around. The, the weight's so unbalanced. He's, he's absolutely clueless. Hey, okay. I don't know if we just keep going this way before that KV1 spawns in something else. 
Hey, another one. No, we are so dead, dude. We're so dead. Okay, he got my gunner. That's bad. I want to kind of hide my cab because I've got two guys in the front. Wait, he's aiming at someone else right now. Okay, good. There's another one. Why is my guy talking about potatoes? What? Okay, he kind of missed me. My reload is... Not the best. Okay, we're good. But there's, an, there's another one around here. As long as I don't get my cab shot, I think. Okay. Oh, it's a Yag. It is breach. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, those guys are dead. We're, we're good, dude. Well, well, so far we're alive. I would I don't know if I'd say good, but... Okay. I think it's a dangerous place to be at now. Probably better... Going this way? Our, our problems are... Well, kind of tall, aren't we? Right, I, I heard a tank to my left. The turret rotation is pretty bad on this, but... I can manage when I've got a cannon that's this potent. This guy's coming this way. Right, you coming this way, dude? I, I definitely hear you. Oh, he's right there, look. What is this guy doing? It's another KB. <laughs> dude, what is going on? No, oh, I didn't reload quick enough. Get him, Sherman. There's two here. Unless it's the same guy who's got the two head markers on him. Another KB. Okay. Not ideal. But his breach is out. As long as there's a machine gun, we're good. I'll see if I get this T-34 next. This stupid driver has just eats 90 mils, man. Oh, it has turret. Okay. I've got five shells left. This guy's kind of facing me, isn't he? Is it 200-ish meters? Nah, it doesn't work. He's a... He's kind of like... He's trying to figure out what to do, I think. Oh, I got a shot. Who shot me? Something shot me, I don't know what it was. Like, it was a KV-1E, that's why. I've only got three bullets. <gasps> That's a big boy. Oh, okay. We're, my gunner's dead again, but we're not on our best armor, dude. We're at nine kills already in our first match. I seen another one. Okay, he missed me. He's a. Okay, the, the, the guy can see me. Oh, my engine is out. We got a, we got a double ace though. I got one shell. Oh my god! But <laughs> it just got executed. That the KV is still alive. Oh, there's two there now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can still fire. No! Right, we're down to HE. But I think I can get a kill with HE. Did my teammate just smoke this for me, or what? Did that enemy do that? What just happened? I don't have smoke. Was someone shooting smoke shells at me to try and kill me with a smoke shell? I have no idea. But we are still two crew. We need to evacuate Mario and Luigi here. Right, the Panzer IV is dead. There's a guy on B. If this medium tank's a T-34, I don't think I can kill him with a HE. But if it's a Panzer IV, yes. Absolutely can. Oh. I wonder when there's a spaghetti wind. But my teammates shooting whatever this is. No, I need to aim a little bit lower. <laughs> it's, uh, M42 is, must have overheated his guns and he got him, he got him. Yeah, I can get more bullet. And probably another crew member is a good idea. I'm just sad I didn't get to use my spotty camo. And I thought this map would be terrible for us too. What's our gun depression, by the way? Only two degrees, but... I feel like we've got more when we aim over the side. 
So I'm not sure if it just tells us the worst of our gun depression by default. Oh, I didn't even see the Puma. Where is he? Well, I wasted all that time replenishing, didn't I? Oh, my teammate killed him. Well, let's go ducky. I don't know if we'll get to the battlefield on time to do anything with this guy, so... I'm hedging my bets on the IL-2 to kill the P-47, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the P-47 is flying away, so I can't help him. Typical P-47 player. Worse than a Stuka. Well, GG. Oh, he tried to bomb him, at least. Oh, said so that guy. All right, dude. Let's go and do some bonking from long range. Uh, USA, Russia, Britain, and Sweden. Oh, well. Maybe this will be very short-lived. Oh, my God. They're up the hill. You know this thing's going to go up and be all right? But it's no breeder. It's no breeder, dude. I don't understand how the gun can't depress further this way. It's got negative two degrees the whole way around. The ironic thing is you actually get more depression over the front in some places because the the tank leans forward when you do that. Oh god. How far are you? I'm pretty proud of that, dude. I'll take it. Someone fired at me though, I think. Oh, I'm getting fifty or something. I tried. It's some sort of Sherman. It's a, yeah, there's a guy on the can. Oh. I've seen a guy. Oh, he's miles by there. Actually, he may be closer than that. Fire again, it's an M42. Where did he go? Just in the trees? He's kind of like... Yeah, he is. He's... He's going to find some concealment, I think. Dude, where is this guy going? Like, what? He's been pretty sneaky about it. Oh, yeah. This dude is quite far away. Too high. Does this guy know I'm shooting at him? Okay. That was quite a large explosion. Ah, I think that's going over the top of him still. He's gonna hit me soon. Oh, it's a 105. I'm not gonna sit there and trade blows on him, he's gonna kill me. Oh, there's a guy in the road. Okay, good. I want to run out of ammo here. I'm going to have to start bringing more with me. A T28 was here. Alright. I still don't see the M4A2. I see another tank there, look. Right there. Ah, not ideal. A float plane? Is that a fucker? I, I overled him. And that Sherman is fighting my stug. This is really inaccurate, by the way. Oh, sub 50 cal, I did. Yeah, I tracked them at least. It's gonna have to do. Right, um, the guy's now on it. Interesting to know we can't pin a Sherman though. At yeah, long range you think you'd be able to do it no bother at all, right? But I guess. We're just not equipped for that. We only have two kills, right? Yeah. The one at the very beginning and then the T-34 on the road. I 
absolutely cannot see this M42 on the A cab. And I know if I kill him, he's going to come back in a plane. Ah, there's an anti air over here now as well. A 40mm one. And the M4. Wait, the M4's just been shot. So many trees. Oh, I think I see his roof. Okay. We've got a very limited time to get another kill before an aeroplane arrives and murders me. Right, that's the 105. Oh, there's another 105, the deceiving one. Ah, damn, there is way back here, look. Okay. Oh, my teammate's still fighting a, a, the SPA back here. The anti, I can't see him though. He... He comes this way, right? I do not see this dude. And here comes the plane I was telling you about. All the way across here. Gun depression. Oh. There's another medium there. And there's a tank pushing me. It looks like a chaffy. It's a stirrup. And he's got a friend behind him. Oh, I cannot see. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's three over here. Oh, he's there, he's there, he's there. He missed me? Okay, we're good. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know about good, but I'm not dead. And there was one further out this direction. Surely it's Jover now. F2A just died. My team's still getting killed by a medium tank that's back there. Oh my god. I'm having to full concentrate. Oh yeah, I see it now. But I can't get an angle on him. Hmm. This is awkward. Okay, sticker. That was quite impressive, honestly. The reverse gear on this is awful. Oh my god. This Panzer 4G is trying to flank this guy. I think one of those guys probably spawned on this side and is coming this direction to get me. We got lots of time left in this match because we were losing heavily at the beginning. But that guy's still up here somewhere, isn't he? Okay, he's dead now. An M3 Lee. Right, it's uh, time to make a move. Ah, not good. I can't believe I missed that. He was like practically stationary. I think I just had to aim at him rather than lead him. Oh my god, I did it again, dude. If you're wondering why I'm not using the HE ones, it's. <laughs> Because they're not actually proxy fuses, they're timed fused. And they've got more explosive mass, well, a little bit more, than normal HE. So, they're for open tops. We'll get five and then we'll go back out again. Okay, I don't know why you would throw away your duck on a Yag 10. 
a 500 spawn point plane to just crash into a 50 spawn point SPA. Players be wacky sometimes. That Corsair is definitely looking for me. There he is. Too low. He's not noticed me. Right, my team is dealing with the guys over in the other spawn, so... Someone is 50 cal in. It's a Sherman. It's an A1. And a Stuart. I don't know why he stopped there, but he did. Thankfully, luckily for us. Oh, there he is. It's finally my turn, right? No, he's still not attacked me. I can't believe I keep missing this guy. I wonder what it is with this that I can't hit that shot. It, it looks good to me and then it's not... No, what are you doing? No, I, the gun depression, I can't help my teammate. Okay. One shell left. Too high. Right, we're on the explosive fuse. I missed him again. Oh, he's gonna kill me while I'm reloading, right? He really wants to kill his Panzer 4G. Oh! Come on. I dipped down. What? Alright. He just decided he didn't want to live anymore, I guess. <laughs> this game uh, definitely was a long game. Oh, there's two anti airs over here, and that's really the thing we don't want to be fighting. And I've now fired both my HE shells, so... Could really be doing with those. It's an M15. Oh no, a plane is coming. Maybe that's why he went into the ground. Just so he could spawn another one. Um... Okay. He tried? There's an enemy coming up behind me. And that plane is coming. Okay. He tried his very best. Oh, I've just seen the top of his tank. Let's go for the cat. I missed him. I've got two shells though. I need to actually kill this guy or we lose. I'm gonna get shot from behind this with these SPAs, right? Oh yeah, it's, it's over. It's over dude, it's over, it's over, it's over. It's an M19, right? Oh damn, it didn't fuse! Oh, we're getting C. It's not as bad. Oh my god, we're dragging our burst wheels everywhere. The Panzer IV is more important than the M19. Oh my god, my turret ring is now out. How do you still see me here exactly? Right, I'm blocking the cap. 19 seconds to get my turret ring back. And it, it sounds like that Panzer IV turned the engine off. What just shot my teammate? Oh, he's dropping Ari on me now too. Pronti a partire. Meccanismo di rotazione 
Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh yeah, his Panzer's coming around this way. I've only got three crew left. But the game is over. An enemy plane. Is that him? No. I don't want to die. No, I'm, I'm sliding all over the place. What? Okay, well, GG. <laughs> Alright, dude, here we go. Let's get over to the cap. Excuse me, dude. Why, why did you not give me enough space to get around? What a dumb spawn, dude. They need to remove that tram car thingy. We're gonna have to go around this way. There's no, uh, no spatial awareness. I don't think you can teach spatial awareness either. I think it's something you have or you don't. That was, that's what makes a dangerous player in War Thunder. Special awareness. Oh god. Okay. Did the other guy notice? No, he did not. There's one in front of me. Is this the Panzer I killed earlier? Is he coming back? I'm gonna have to move away from here. I think I just saw someone over there too. Mm, don't tell me that's a KV1. Guys coming around this way, but there's still a dude on C. Ah, oh, he just killed my teammate, that guy. Oh, aeroplane. Okay, that bomb might kill me, but we're okay. Oh! Holy moly. I'm being surrounded. Dude. Okay, my teammate just fired at that guy. I'm still kind of sticking out the front here, which is not great. Right, both these guys are getting shot. A heavy tank and a medium. Okay, uh, the Churchill just exploded, but. The medium tank's still there. And he's still moving. Right, we move again because ACAP's now getting captured. I don't see anyone near the ACAP right now. We're going to swing our gun round to the, the right side. I definitely hear one. I, I honestly have no idea. We decap anyway, right? And then I, I keep on going around. I keep driving. Still overseeing stuff on there's another plane. I don't really like where I'm at. Oh god. That's not how you do that. There's an enemy on B now as well. And another guy on A. Oh my god, dude. This guy does not see me. My camouflage is too strong. Right, the guy on A cap. Where is he at? There he is. He's driving back. 
I just saw a stud as well. Where is the T-34 going? It's coming back through, I think. Okay, I hit an object. Ah, oh, damn. Poor, poor show, buzz. Poor show. Can I put some pressure near B cab now? Because. Oh, yeah, there's a guy in front of me with 50 cows firing. Okay. Now we leave. There's a man behind me. Try and get this dude on a A cap for my AMX 13 here. But the T 34 is in the smoke, so I'm not sure where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, the gun depression. Someone is hunting me, dude. Like the... Oh yeah, it's a T-34. What? Yeah, machine gun my driver. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he going around? Oh, we're so dead, man. Dude, I just don't understand Russian armor <laughs> in the slightest. Why has it got to have like 9 million overlaps? Uh, I've actually still got a driver, kinda. Oh, never mind. <laughs> a machine gun port in every other tank except a Russian one is a weak spot. Uh, but, you know, Russian game. <laughs> you just gotta remember that, right? It's a Russian game by people who really love Russia and everything Russia does. I think this M16 is. Oh, that's a BTR down there. Dude, why is the gunner always immortal on those BTRs? And they're adding one now for Russia that's got four barrels in the next patch. Like, that one wasn't good enough. And I think it has much bigger belts. Right. We're getting somewhere, kinda. Did I just fly through an a teammate? I did, yeah. A Cromwell. I'm surprised we didn't hit that guy, because I, I literally... It looked like I was in his cockpit third person for a second. This damage we sustained from the BTR is causing problems. Right, good, he's dead. Right, I think... I think we've lost. <laughs> let's go... Let's go another Breda, but this way. We'll go B. I might need to drive through B and get to C. The problem is we're driving towards a BTR and an M16. Oh no. We're gonna get strafed. Oh, they're on A. Wait, did it just get brighter here? Oh, there's two enemy planes. Yeah, this is not the best. The, the the brakes on this thing just make it spin around like an idiot. And it, once it starts sliding, it's over. Like, you can't control it. Our SB seemed like he made it his personal job to fly away from the help from his teammates. Can't let that guy... Touch that cat. Right, we're getting A back again.
Right, that guy's tracked. Did he die? Yes. Oh. And there's an Achilles on the way to... Oh, there's two planes coming in as well. Yeah, there's an Achilles on his way to B. Two planes. Those are my priority. Surely five of my teammates can kill one enemy. Yeah, they have. They were struggling with a dicker, Max. One. Two. Oh, I might be dead. I'm here, I'm here. Right, Achilles, where are you? Unless he's dead already. That's how you play SBA, by the way. Everyone else sits in their spawn, shooting rounds at enemy planes that are 800 meters away. I think I hear the Achilles. Like that direction? Let's keep applying constant pressure to these guys. Oh, everybody left ACAP. That was a clever thing to do. Ah. I told you that you, you just can't teach people basic stuff. Uh, you need to have it wired in you. Your decisions. Yeah. The ARL's fighting the Achilles. Along with an SBA, and I feel like both of them are going to lose. Okay, the ARL actually shot him. I think we just got this. Yeah, we did. Oh my god, why was this so hard? Why was this so hard, dude? So I've heard this thing being compared a lot to the Breda and the Flag Bus, and I think it just doesn't quite meet the mark of those two. This is more like a bad Yag-10, I would say. And I think the Yag-10 is better because the 90mm is such a large shell, it gets caught in volumetric stuff, especially on Russian things. The other thing is, if you miss a shot or you don't get the kill outright on the thing that you fired at, uh, you're pretty much screwed. It's kind of a cool battle pass tank, but I think it would just be better in a tech tree. A lot of the Italian stuff's kind of thin now, most of it is other nations, and I quite like to see homebrew, like, Italian vehicles in the Italian tech tree, rather than everyone running about in Shermans and Panzer Fours. But, that's just my two cents on it, I'd rather see it as a tech tree than a, a, a battle pass tank that no people will get after this battle pass basically. Anyway, I'm done for today. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. We're gonna do three videos in a row. So I will see you then. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who supports me over on Discord and Patreon. Thank you guys very much to all the Discord tier threes. That's Ari, Sexy, Crowbrand, White Wolf, Bofi, Cookie Bird, Muncher, Destari, Fearless Germ, Goosebelly, Master Zane, Mushy Boy, Rusty, Satan, Karma, Stoyan, Strike Noir, Toast McGee, War Daddy, Ricked Wolf and Zig. And of course, to everyone over on Patreon. That's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Paul Wendrick, Cookie Muncher, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anders Stormwind, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, MB1, Kenobi, Ethan Excavation Nation, Love of a Weasel, Maybe Cookie Muncher, Not Cookie Muncher, Ride Shaft, Tectonic, Tanks Gone World, The Anomaly, Vanny and Mort, and David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini, and everyone else still here. Thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye-bye. By the way, YouTube, this is paint.